Good morning. How are you doing? Good morning. I'm doing well, thanks. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How can I help you today? I have an appointment for the naturalization interview today. What time is your appointment? 11.15. Can I see your appointment notice, please? Yes, here you go. Your appointment is 11.15. You can enter the facility right now. Don't forget your appointment notice. Thank you. Now, please take off your jacket and remove everything in your pockets. Place them in the plastic bin and walk through the metal detector. Remember to take all your belongings. Go to the second floor and check in at suite 230. Thank you. You're welcome. Good morning. How can I help you today? Good morning. I have an appointment for the U.S. citizenship interview at 11.15. Do you have the appointment letter and your ID? Yes. Here they are. Thank you. All right. I found your information. You are all set. Please have a seat in the waiting area of the door 220. The USCIS officer will call you shortly. Thank you. Miss Isabella Mora. Yes. Good morning, officer. How are you today? Hello. I'm doing well. Thank you. How is your day going? Good. Thank you. Can you follow me? Yes. You can have a seat. Thank you. Can I have your appointment letter, permanent resident card, ID, and your passport, please? Sure. Here you go. Okay, first of all, I need to take your fingerprints right now. You see the scanner in front of you? Please place your left index finger on the scanner for me. Next, switch to your right index finger. I also need to take your picture. Can you look at the camera right here for me? Great, thank you. You're welcome. Now, please stand up and raise your right hand. I will have to place you under oath before we start the interview. Do you promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Thank you. Now sit down, please. Thank you. We will start with the civics test first. Do you have any questions before we start? No, I don't have any questions. Please say the answers out loud for me. What is the capital of the United States? Washington, D.C. What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? Vote. Run for office. Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? Franklin Roosevelt. What is the economic system in the United States? Market economy. How many judges are on the Supreme Court? Nine. What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? Freedom of expression. Freedom of speech. 
Good job! You passed the civics test. Next, I will go to the English reading and writing test. Can you read the sentence on the tablet out loud for me? Where does Congress meet? Now, I will read a sentence. Please write that sentence on the tablet for me. Congress meets in Washington, D.C. Good! You passed the English reading and writing test. I'm going to review your N-400 application. What is your current legal name? Isabella Mora. Is Mora your last name? Yes, it is correct. What is your first name? Isabella. Have you used any other names since you got your green card? No, I haven't used any other names. All right. Would you like to change your current name? Yes. I want to change my current name to Emma Mora. Okay, give me one second. I will update the information. Thank you. What is your social security number? Six, eight, four, five, eight, six, seven, nine, one. What is your date of birth? November 28, 1982. I'm sorry, I have an error on my N-400 application. Can you correct my date of birth for me? Sure, hold on please. Thank you. What is your current address? 2107 West Virginia Avenue, Tampa, Florida, 33607. This is also your mailing address, is this correct? Yes, it is. How long have you lived at your current address? Two and a half years. When did you move to this address? I moved to this address on June 14, 2019. Have you lived anywhere else since you applied for U.S. citizenship? No, I haven't lived anywhere else since I applied for the U.S. citizenship test. Where did you live before? 2076. Julia Avenue, St. Paul, Minnesota, 55105. Who do you live with at the current address? I currently live with my husband and my child. You got your green card through your sister, is this correct? Yes, it's correct. When did you become a permanent resident? I became a permanent resident on January 19, 2017. How tall are you? I'm 5 feet 4 inches tall. Is your mother or your father a U.S. citizen? No, my parents don't live in the U.S. Where do your parents currently live? They currently live in Costa Rica. All right. What is your country of citizenship? Costa Rica. Were you born in Costa Rica? Yes, I were born in Costa Rica. Are you a citizen of any other countries? No, I am only a citizen of Costa Rica. All right. What do you do for a living? I am a waitress in a restaurant in Tampa. What is your current employer? Texas Roadhouse. How long have you been working for them? I have been working there two and a half years. 
So you worked there since you moved to Tampa? Yes, it's correct. Do you know the employer's address? Yes, it is located on Winter Drive, Tampa, Florida, 33613. Did you work at Chipotle Mexican Grill before that? Yes. What did you do? I was a cashier. How long have you worked there? I worked there about two years. What date did you leave this job? I left this job on August 11, 2019. Have you worked anywhere else in the last five years? No, that's it. All right. Have you ever received any public benefits since you came to the U.S.? No, I haven't received any public benefits since I came to the U.S. Okay, are you married? Yes, I am. Where did you get married? I got married in Costa Rica. How many times have you been married? One time. What is your spouse's full name? His name is Ron Vargas. What is his date of birth? April 20, 1979. Is he a U.S. citizen? Yes, he just became a U.S. citizen last month. What is your spouse's current job? He is a machine operator. He works at ATC Machine Tools. How many children do you have? I have one child. What is your child's name? Her name is Maria Vargas. How old is your child? She is 11 years old. Is your child biological to you? Yes, she is. Do you and your spouse have any adopted children? No. All right. Have you ever left the United States in the last five years? Yes, I went back Costa Rica two times before. When was your last trip outside the United States? October 2020. What was the purpose of that trip? I went on vacation with my family. How many total days did you spend outside the United States in the last five years? Totally, I spent 34 days outside the United States in the last five years. Okay. Have you ever told someone that you are a U.S. citizen? No. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? No. Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No, officer. Why not? Because I am not a U.S. citizen. Have you ever been a member of any organization, association, fund, foundation, party, club, society, or similar group in the United States? No, officer. Have you ever filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Yes, I file taxes return every year since I came to the U.S. Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? No. Do you pay taxes on time every year? Yes, I pay taxes on time every year. Have you ever been a member of, or in any way associated, either directly or indirectly, with a terrorist organization? 
No. Did you ever go to a jail or prison? No. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or soldier, or did you otherwise ever serve in prison or jail? No. Were you ever involved in any way with genocide? No. Do you understand what genocide means? It means kill a whole race. Have you ever been a member of, or in any way associated, either directly or indirectly, with the Communist Party? No. Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? No, officer. Have you ever received a suspended sentence, been placed on probation, or been paroled? No. Were you ever a member of, or did you ever serve in, help, or otherwise participate in military units? No. What is a military unit? A group works for a government to fight in a war. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I do. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes, I'm willing. Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer for any reason? No. Have you ever married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? No. Can you define immigration benefit? Yes. Immigration benefit is something like a visa, green card, or citizenship. Were you ever involved in any way with torture? No. Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? No. Have you ever been married to more than one person at the same time? No. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes, I do. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes, I'm willing. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I'm willing. Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States? No, officer. Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? No. Have you ever been placed in removal, exclusion, rescission, or deportation proceedings? No, officer. Perfect. You passed the citizenship interview. Congratulations. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to hear that. Now, please review the updated application on the tablet and make sure if your information is correct. Then please sign at the last page. Everything looks good. Thank you for updating my application. You're welcome. I also need you to sign at the Oath of Allegiance section. Please read it carefully before you sign. We will mail you a notice for your oath ceremony. You will probably receive it in three weeks. Do you have any questions at this point? No, thank you so much. Awesome. I'll take you back to the customer service area. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you.